precious daddy we thank you we bless you for the way you started with us thank you for the mighty power of your mercy that you visited us with yesterday. And Lord, we know that that is just the beginning. You still have a lot in store for us. You call this meeting for a purpose. And we are too confident that, that your purpose will be established in the name of Jesus. Jesus. This morning again, as we stand before you, oh Lord God, come and speak to us. Come and steer our hearts. Come, come and challenge our hearts to receive all that you have for us. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, precious daddy. Glory be to your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Kindly sit down. And enjoy yourself. I want to welcome us this morning to the presence of the Lord. And I pray that that what God have in store for you in person. You know, there is a miracle of miracle. That when you receive that miracle, no matter the challenges or the trouble of your life, everything will give way. Is that miracle that special touch of God. And your own is different from the person that sits beside you. That one is what the Lord will do for you. You know the talk of factory setting. They talk about follow come. There is a follow come miracle for you. Hey, there, 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 there is a okay, kind of cloth. They said tailor made. Okay, they will measure you before they show it. It's different from the ready made. Oh, ya to see a yiti. Do you want to know there? And you know if you have bought ready made trousers, especially brothers. <laughs> It's very few before you will see the one that will meet you, especially the length. Oh man, so you need to go and give it to Taylor again. But the Taylor made doesn't have doesn't need any adjustment. That is what the Lord will do for you. In Jesus and so when God started with us yesterday, and He came from the angle of mercy, and we begin to look at different type of mercy. And we look at the manifestations of God's mercy. And we see how the mercy of God came to the Israelites. And they trivialize it. They didn't consider it weighty. They didn't appreciate it. And I know yesterday we prayed. To receive this mercy of the Lord. For us not to waste this mercy. This morning again. The Lord has come to speak the to Lord us. To and I pray. He will give us understanding. As in mercy. In mercy he grants me utterance. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Let's open to the book of Mark. We are going to book of Mark chapter 12. We read from verse 12 to 12. Verse 1 to 12. Mark chapter 12. From verse 1 to 12. I believe we are there. I read. And he began to speak unto them by parables. A certain man planted a vineyard and set an hedge about it and dig a place for the wine fat, and built a tower, and let it out to husband men, and went into a far country. And he 
o si ko ile iso si o si fi o si fi se agba toju fun awon olusogba o si lo si ajo and at the season he sent to his husband men a servant that he might receive from the husband men of the fruit of the fine yard nigba ti o si di akoko o na omo odo re kan si awon olusogba na ki o le gba ninu isu ogba ajara na lowo awon olusogba and they caught him and beat him and sent him away empty won si mu won lu won si ran pada lowo ofo and again he sent unto them another servant and at him they cast stones and wounded him in the head and sent him away sinfully handed o si tun ran omo odo miran si won o ni won si so ni okuta won so ni okuta lu won sha logbe li ori won si ran lo ni itiju and again he sent another and him they kill and many others beating some and kill some o si tun ran miran eyi ni eyi ni won eyi ni won si pa ati opo miran won lu miran won si pa miran verse 6 esaike fa having yet therefore one son he is well beloved he sent him also last unto them saying they will reverence my son sugbon o ku omo re kan ti o ni tin se ayan fe re o si ran si won pelu ni keyin o wi pe won o se oju saju fun omo mi but those husband men said among themselves this is the heir come let us kill him and the inheritance shall be ours sugbon won lu sugbon won ni wi fun ara won pe yi yi li arole e wa je ki a pa ogun re yo si je ti wa and they took him and kill him and cast him out of the fen yard won si mu won pa won si wo jade kuro ninu ogba jara na what shall therefore the lord of the fen yard do he will come and destroy the husband men and we give the fen yard unto others nje kini oluwa ogba jara na yi o se ohun o wa yo si pa awon olusogba won nirun yo si fi ogba jara re se agba toju fun awon elomiran and have you not read this scripture The stone which the builder rejected is become the head of the corner. Eni ko wa ti kai we mimo yi okuta ti awon omo le ko sile o na ni o di pataki igun ile. This was the Lord's doing and it is marvelous in our eyes. Eyi ni ise Oluwa o si je iya nu li oju wa. And they sought to lay hold on him but fear the people for they knew that he had spoken the parable against them and they left him and went their way. Won si nwa ona ati mu sugbon won si beru ijo eniyan nitori won mo pe awon li o po we na mo won si fi sile won the lord bless the reading and the hearing of his word in our heart in jesus name amen ki oluwa ki obu kun oro re ni aya wa amen now looking at this parable of the lord jesus christ ka ki esi owe jesus christ oluwa wa yi you know most of the parable of jesus christ opo awon owe jesus that has to do with human being ti o ni se pelu eniyan If you look at it very well, che ba wo fini fini. Sometimes it's a true life story. Igba mi na awon itan to wa yi ni. So you will just you will now bring it in form of parable. Awa mo wa ni ifi we owe. Now if you look at that verse 12. Che ba wo se ikiji layen. So they said for they knew that he has spoken the parable against them. Oni tori won mo we pe o po we mo won ni. Now these are the priest. Awon won yi si ni awon alufa. Now these are the Like the word of God was coming yesterday. Gege bi oro Olorun tin jade ni ana. Making us to understand that the mercy of God first came to the Israelites. So je ka ma wi pe anu Olorun koko to Israel wa. So this mercy that came to them. Tori na anu to to won wa yi. When they supposed to enjoy it. Nigba to ye kan gbadun re. They wasted it. Won fi shofo. So let me just give a little paraphrase of this passage eje kan soro die nipa on ta kai now when look at this passage ngba ti awo bi ta kai like three personality is there awon eyan meta ni asoro nipa won bi and one is the the certain man eni kan eni akoko oni okunrin kan this certain man is the one that owns the fenya okunrin kan yi oni oni ogba ajara so and i want you to look at that certain man as the god almighty mo se fe ke ri okunrin kan yi bi olorun agbaye you can feel that garden like the garden of eden e le ri ogba ajara n bi ogba ajara eden ni you can feel that garden again like the land of canaan e le ri ogba ajara yen bi ile canaan ni that is flowing with meat and honey ti o nsan fun wa ara ti fun oyin and what did he do with that garden 
before that the other personality there is the husband man. Some fashion call it tenant. I want company. I like that. Some call it a farm farm man. I want company. Uh, Olu Shogba. So this man, Okuni, be, can be considered to be like Adam and Eve. Ale kpeni Adam ati Eva. But actually, he yeah, represent the children of Israel. I'm only be here. I'm Israel. He is representing the priest. On Sunday, we are going to Now, the third man there. Uh, any ketata shakwe juwe any be that is one important personality among these three. To jeni to shake pataki juloni no angweni metata shakwe. He's the well beloved son. Ona ni anya fi omare. You know the other one that we can consider they are men, the servants. I want major lack of konye inya ni wan onsi je ushishe. I mean there's some other personality. At ani I want I want to ask Ronnie Pawan. There are some other personality in this story. Ani I want me na ti atu sorone Pawan ni no. They are the servants that he sent. I want ni, I want or your Jisha to run to go and meet this farmer. If we come on, lock on the bar, we will shock bar. So we have these three major personalities. I want ni, I want Kony met at answer on one ni in a way. And I want us to see what the owner of this vineyard has done to this vineyard. What for carry any two new York by Jarai to she see your by Jarai? That vineyard is well planted. Oak by Jarai or she see be to Dara. And before a vineyard can be well planted, QC to the week we had been by Jarai Dara. Means that he has undergoes three stages of pre planting operation. In you, new week we oti la one equally meta can codate and cock on la codaco to the Pumo Binka. You have to be well plowed until you let it to clear. Yeah. If you have clear it, okay. Come, come, come. Shan, one shan, go, 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 be. When it is well cleared, think about that. It shan, it go, be. They pack it. One more co. They burn it. One soon. Then the next thing is to arrow. On keji ni kwe. One, 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 these are the work that this owner has done. And not only that, the Bible said, I'm in verse 1, and set an edge about it. It make a fence around it. A good protection. You know, one major challenge into any business, especially mm. agriculture, is theft. You know, you can, if somebody has labor and labor, when it's time for harvest, you are planning to go into your farm and go and harvest. You discover that they have cut the, the fruit away. But this Owner, this farm owner, put an edge, a fence, to protect it from rodent attack. Not only that, he prepare a wine press. You know this this farmyard. What they planted there is a type of orange grape. So the expectation is after the fruit is ripe, they will harvest it, and then they will now make juice out of it. For those of us that have interest in going to agriculture, the best, the most productive aspect of agriculture is the processing. You know, we produce cocoa in Nigeria. Okay, maybe that may be far from us. We, oh, yeah, we, yeah, we produce crude oil from Nigeria. Okay, uh, uh, and that crude is useless to anybody. 
We don't have sufficient refinery to refine it. That we make it useful to the end user. So likewise, agriculture. Back on new alkowoti is when you have your product. And you are able to process it and package it. Then you are going to make much profit. Ah, So this husband, this uh, farm owner, he prepare a wine press. In order to maximize profit. That after harvesting the grape, Timbati. They process it into juice. So the next thing that will be coming out of that is already well packaged juice mm. to the end user. After this, he now put a tower. Hey, you know, he has put a fence. Now this tower is we are a watchman we stand. Only BT or Dema Durosi to be having a kind of surveillance. Kolema Woka Kiri. Is there anybody that want to climb the fence? Our rent of a mob by Is there anybody that want to break the defense? Our rent of a wule to fair banule. Is there any enemy coming anywhere? Shall you touch him boa? Even in that farm, is there any incident of any insect infestations or disease? You know, in agriculture, the moment you sense a, 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 a pest infestation, that disease or pest, if you don't attack it earlier, there is a stage that we get to that hardly can you make profit. In fact, you cannot even break even. It will just wipe away everything. Why am I taking time to explain Kilo what this one has done? For you to know what he has done, what he has put in place. He has made everything well. You has made everything ready. He now get a tenant. Lo she she wa pe o lu shogba. Get an husbandman. Okay, lu shogba. To come and be in charge. She pe wo ya wa wa ma boju to kini. May I tell you? She in sofuni. Every farm implement. Bo bo in kanta afin she she loko. That this husbandman will require. Ti eni to shogba to ma lo enti shoko i. To do justice to the correct maintenance of that farm. La ti le she on bo bo to tolori o kong. This certain man, this farm owner has made it available. That is the wonderful things that this man has done. Because I would like you also to judge. Now having done all this, verse 2, and at this season, there is time for everything. Now, this season that is talking about here, if you check some of the fashion we have, we talk about the harvesting time. Now, you know, the season of clearing, of planting, the farm owner have done that. It appeared to me that these husband men, this Tenant that he put there, he just put them there to harvest. Only see me be pay a one or lose your I want him by modu to a coin. Oh, can't you want to be back? We can walk or any and process it into juice. He wants it pay low the coach. The servant that he's sending. Sherry, I want to share to one last one. He's not expecting them to be collecting raw orange. Fruit. He expects already well bottled juice from them. But we are surprised. Said this husband man. When they see the servant that is sent. You see in verse 3. 
said they caught him beat him and set, sent him away empty after beating they send them away empty be just look at that story in your heart. And maybe you just put yourself in the shoe of the farm owner. Because I want us to see the pain in the heart of God. Over our life. For all that the Lord has done for us. Now in verse 4. We see that... Uh, the, the, the farm owners still think, ah, what's, what will have been happened? Is it that my servant misbehave or what? Or they don't have a proper mm. identification that is from me? What is and again, he sent unto them another servant. And at him they cast stone. And wounded him in the head. And sent him away shamefully. Verse 5, the same thing. But in verse 5, they did more than beating. And him they kill and many others beating some and killing some. Now, the farm owner he looked at them that, okay, they may be doing that to my servant. But they know my only son. That my son is the Rightful owner of this farm. So the, es the respect that they need to accord me as the owner. I believe they will accord my son. The same. Okay, my son, you also go. Already we have done everything well for them. It's just to be giving us. The harvest. Let's go together to verse 7. But those husbandmen said among themselves, This is the hair. Come. They call one another. It was a meeting. If we beat this one, is the owner. The only way for us to stop all this trouble of sending people. Let us kill him. And the inheritance shall be ours. The fashion said, because of their greed. Said, let us kill him. And they took him. Verse 8. They took him. Once more. And kill him and cast him out of the fenyard. Now, observe the kind of mercy that these husband men has obtained. They are not the owner of the land. They don't do any labor to clear the forest. They don't invest anything in tilling the land. In planting. In the supply of farm farm inputs whether the seeds to plant or the agrochemicals to use to control the weed or the pests they have given them everything is there any other mercy beyond that I see that a great Mercy that anyone can obtain. He has done everything well for you. Do you want to tell me by the time those husband men are working, they are not eating? So they are feeding is not a is not a body. They are feeding is not a body. is not a body. They are clothing, they are shattered, is not a trouble. In that farm, there is farmhouse, there is everything well 
position. How does this one concern you? How does this one concern me? I see God presenting to you this morning the abundance of his mercy that he has made available unto you. This God has made it available unto you. And what God did, the owner of this farm did to this farm, he has done it for you. But how have you been handling this mercy that God has done for you? I just want you to see that this garden is represent all that you have and all that you have. And the husbandman is your personality. Let's go to Psalm 139. Just for you to see what God has done for you. Psalm 139. We just want to read from 13 to 18. For thou hast possessed my reign, thou hast covered me in my mother's womb. In your mother's womb, who protected you? Is him your mother? Is he your father? David Sammy said, I will praise thee for I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous I thy work, and that my soul knoweth right well. Because there is the people said they are the most beautiful and most handsome. Me ma boyo tiri eni kani ting gakpa soke latari kwa wen sokwe a omare wa pupo. You know, some set of people we gather together. They say they want to choose the most beautiful woman or lady. E ma rita on kama akora on jo wone kwa fe mu eni tore wa ju on fe mujadi. Now the most the person they pick as the most beautiful. Eni tingo wa mu gege bi eni tore wa ju. What has she done? Kini onte ni eti she na. To have that shape. Latini Bosheri. To have that structure. Bosheri Iwore on Tofini. Kilo Tishe. Have you done something one day? Show Odi the Lord Jokan. Maybe you have done something one day. Boya wana tishe kan Lord Joko kan didi. And people just clap their hand for you. La mwenye bakpa te wakwa agwa wa wa wa. Oh they just say ah that's great of you. Oh oh yeah yima gao. And you too you. You knocked your head. Sinu redu to wa mi de ke be. The question is that what you did. What do you think you have done to have ever done it to the point that people can acknowledge that this is beautiful? Now, I'm not even coming now from the point of the benefits you have been enjoying for being in Christ. I'm even looking at even when you have not met Christ. Christy. These are the work that God has done for you. He started it from your mother's womb. Verse 15. Okay. 15. 15. Said, My substance was not eat from thee. When I was made in secret and curiously wrought in the lowest part of the earth. This, this secret part, this part of the heart. Some of us in our fashion, he made us understand is the mother's womb. That, that inner part. Even when the father and the mother met. That they don't know what is going on. And God started the work of a kind mm. of fashioning and sculpturing you. There is no part of your body that is hidden from the Lord. 
Verse 16. Thy Thy eyes did see my substance, yet being unperfect, and in thy book all my members were written, which in continuance were fashioned, when as yet there was none of them. Oju retiri on a on on ara mi ti o wa lai pe ati ninu iwe re le ako gbogbo won si le ojojumo ni an da won nigbati okan nigbati okan won ko ti si that shape of your eyes that shape of your nose that shape of your leg everything when it is not feasible to the eyes iri oju re beti re seri bimu re seri nigbati ati e ti ri laye gangan if you see the 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 formations of baby from mm. the elementary biology in fact there was a time he looked like a rat ti e ba ri bi omo se gbogbo omo se nsu to ndi omo ninu nigba kan adabi eku even with te igba mi atu dabi alangba da afte atu aniru ndi now all those things that you now come out with nigba ti o wa jade to jade le ise so say ah bro you are handsome ah ton omo nlare o mo o mo re wa and because of that handsomeness si ni tori e wa re un you now become a kind of you 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 become trouble to the community ladies to wa di jamba fun awon obirin kaakiri and you know lady this side lady this side awon obirin lapa bi awon obirin lapa bi bro na pe bro ni and they will now be commending you be won sa o lo me san mewa that is the man ah okunrin igbanu very handsome o mo re wa po what has he done egbo ki lo mo okunrin nse na to fi da ba o that physique lati ni iri irisi yen to have that beauty lati ni iru e wa to ni as a sister gege bi obirin that no brother can approach you to je pe ko si okunrin kan kan to le gbe to le goju wo na him from the head to the toe ti yo wo la to kede le and you not tell him to so fun look at yourself you wanna wo rai look at me wo mi is there any correlation she she ajora wa eh she ajora wa look for your class oh yeah wo egbe re lo now that class she claim to belong to egbe re to ni o wa long Her own class that she claimed to belong to. Oh, Benny, who egged her chair? Tony, who owned her? Who put her in that class? Salo fisi nu an egged her. Now, what put her in that class in her head? What has he done to possess them? Kin inu inu egged her to long one year. Kin long kin long gato on ganti she koto de pe afisi nu egged her. Seventeen. Ese keta di logun. How precious also I thy thought unto me O God how great is the sum of them Olorun iroyinu re ti se ye bi ye to fun mi iye won ti po to Is it not yesterday we were told She are not coming on so fun wa that there is a lot of journey we have embarked upon that we are not supposed to return back alive Olopo irin ajo lati rin ti o ya pada laaye But in the thought of God because he is thinking over you there is a power that god has set over your life amo ninu anu olorun ile iso kan wa ti o ti gbin nitori aye ti e that is watching over you to tin wo you know one day i was driving ni ojo kan ni mo mo wa oko and i don't know there is a water in that is a, a, a little ditch mi wa mo wi pe koto kan ti o mi wa ni be and i was on high speed mo sin sare bo ni so when i saw the water bi mo ti ri omi o bi na ni experienced driver gege be ni ti o en ti o ni riri pupo ninu wa ko wa so i just match the brake he entered that water yawo ko bayi o wo nu omi o the vehicle turn back from where is going to where is coming from mo to lo bayi lo bi ripo o ba koju si bi to tin bo then he now put his head he enter forest ori re o wa mu wonu gbo and he turn himself to become a tractor and he keep on plowing o wa so ra re di oko oko geko geko lo ba ngeko lo nti e and it was one tree in the forest that stopped the car igi kan nu gbo lo kan da okan duro when he stopped nigba to duro so thank you jesus ah mo ni o se jesus i look left i mo, look right si. mo wo si mo wo tun side forest ninu gbo nla and you know the funniest thing e wa won to pa ni leyin be o because that so why is there nitori wi pe ile iso yen wa nbe and the man there is active eni to wa nbe o si wa loju se neither sleep ko isun no slumber ki n to gbe when i gather myself together nigbati mo koro ami ko tan i turn the ignition again mo tu sana si and the engine answer me mo ba tu da mi lohun i put it for reverse gear mo fi si oya ma lo seyin and i came out ni mo tu jade fun ra mi and straight to the house o ba nlo le Now what have I done? Egbo kini mo ti seri na. 
on, on that condition ni ikode tabi ti wo think should be my lot egbo kile ro po ye ko je ipin mi is for people to come and they come and pull out the car and say ah oh, no and pick the cops she be ka won kan kan wa ni pe ja wa gbo ku re igi lowo pa i was the only person in the car emi ni kan na le ni to wa nu oko it was in the morning the security man now say say ah sir when you drove in in the evening there is a lot of grass in front of the car what happened nigba ti wa di aro ti mo wa oko de ni eni ti nso yo gba wa ni pe ah nigba te wole le kan yi gbogbo lo wa lara moto yin ki lo sele i just my say he self accident <laughs> but i was not involved mo ba bu se ni wi pe ma to lo ma ja na fun ra re in mi o si nbe that is in the thought of god in the thought of god yin ni pe ninu eru olorun is already watching over me o wo mi thinking over me o ronu pa mi watching over me she lo so mi ka he did everything that no evil will befall me o se gbogbo re ki bi kan kan o ma ba mi what have i done to deserve that ni mo ti se ti ru oyun fi to si mi how great is the sum of them o ni won ti ga to if you want to you see that this say he that is thoughtful will be thankful If you can think so deep and see a lot of things you have gone through in your life. Verse 18 where we stop. Said, if I should count them. They are more in number than the sand. When I'm awake, I'm still with thee. Emi ba ka won won ju iyanrin lo ni ye. Nigba ti mo ba ji emi wa lodo re sibe. These are all that the Lord has been doing for you. Eyi ni o n gbogbo ti Olorun tin se fun o. But in his mercy as he has been lavishing this blessing over your life. Amo ninu anu e bi o tin da gbogbo awon kan won yi lu o. Planting your life ti o sin gbe aye re with re- divine resources. Pelu awon oro latoke wa. Do you know one good thing about this God? We are all unique. Gbogbo wa lo da to yato. There is no anyone here without one specialty, one special design, one special grace, one special gift or the other. Ko si enikan ni bi ti ko ni nkan pato to yato si ti elomi. I don't know whether you have noticed some people's voice. Mi mo buyo ti ki esi ohun awon kan. You will know that this one is beyond voice training. Have you come across people like that? They will be talking. You still be looking at yourself. You still be watching. Uh, is this man not Yoruba? That voice God just endow him. Oh, you He's not the teacher that did that. Have you not come across people in drama? In fact, there are some people just tell them what to do. They don't write scripts. I want come where I can sometimes ask for money. I want them ask back. That script, what they will do? You yourself, they are wrote the script. You'll be amazed. To the people who don't ask, you know, people that are write scripts. I want to come where you can sometimes ask for money. I want them ask back. That script, what they will do? You yourself, they are wrote the script. You'll be amazed. To the people who don't ask, you know, people that are write scripts. I want to come where you can sometimes ask for money. I want them ask back. That script, what they will do? You yourself, they are wrote the script. You'll be amazed. To the people who don't ask, you know, people that are write scripts. I want to come where you can sometimes Was he there when I'm receiving this? She o wa nbe ngba ti mo ngba mo so ma sere ni. Is a gift. Ah, e bule ni. If you see some people ordinary handwriting, ti e ba ri awon kan ti won ba gbe we le tan ko we le ba. Is it the you see 2D in seven that we all use in primary school? O ju pe ka ma lo writing we 2D lo o ka ma ko la toke de le. Just the endowment of God over your life. Now, why is he doing all this? Kilo de to finish go go kind. You cannot see that one. I say, why is he doing all this? Eh, le joko ka wo kipa oloti. Why kilo de to finish go go kind? Baba is doing all this, lavishing you with all this goodness and this mercy because he wants profit. Baba finish go go kind. Why you need to do we pay only tiri? There is a juice that you want to take from your life. Only ti on on to she mo kan lati aye re and you know the servant that he has been sending e si de awon iranse re to tin ran yi o you know what they will bring to you e ma won kan ton ma mu wa fun o because the owner of the farm to di wi pe ni to ni oko every wine that they get from you gbogbo wine ni tan ba ti ri lati oko re every wine they get from my life wine ni tan ba ri ni aye mi there is a process that you must pass through only awon ise kan ti won ma se lori re 
and there is a channel that you must pass through. O si ni oju ona kan to ma gba. If all those gifts we get to the owner and be acceptable. Ni gba ti gbogbo awon ebun yen ba ma di odo eni to ni to ma je itewo gba. That all those gifts. Seri gbogbo awon ebun yen May we get this understanding today? Oh, ye, ma, you are not All those gifts must pass through the son. Oh, dogba on one is through the son to the father. Oh, dogba or doma koja loso do baba. So when this servant has been coming. They bring the word of the son, present uh, the father presenting the son to you. In order for all the treasure and the resources of God in your life to be acceptable. And your own at attitude to this servant is to be stoning them, killing those that you are able to lay your hand upon. And that has been your life even till now. This message of God has kept you all this while. And God didn't want anyone to perish. If you are the owner of that farm, do you want such farm to perish? You should wonder why is it that the key one servant is keep on sending? The investment in that farm is too great. There is a lot of gift in your life that you have not learned it anywhere but you can display it and people will commend it. Because you know the scientists made us to understand that our brain they say this brain there is no one in this world they have used up to 20% that brain. Is it 10%, 10% of, of, of the brain. I don't know whether you have just think and observe yourself. And look at something that you have done. I don't know. To me, sometimes I've done something that myself, I will look at it. I will still say, ah, ah. So, Ben, you are the one that did this. Even myself, I, 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 I value it. You know, it's one wonderful. You know, the, the kind of thing that you'd be expecting from a professor. Maybe this one should come from professor, a well-learned person. And you just look at it. And you also, you'll be amazed at yourself. Those are the resources of God. The level of our, perform our performance with our brain is a function of the pressure we have put on this brain. That our brain, there is greater thing locked up there. That God wants us to download to this world. Mm. But we are just satisfied with the level that we are. God has done all this for me. He has done all this for you. But our reaction to all this mercy of God has been killing and stoning the servant of God. And what will you do today? to this mercy of God because may I tell you all this gift of God in your life will become useless mm. and wasted if you fail to accept the sonship of our Lord Jesus Christ it's as a result of this study that this understanding you know there is this general saying that be hardly relevant and be even conscious. Have you heard, have you heard that before? And it should be hardly relevant and be even conscious. You know, it said there are some Christian that uh, six o'clock. So that six o'clock is that they are hardly relevant and even conscious. One 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 one
please be 12 o'clock Christian. Ada ko ja ka je Christian ni alago mejila. Just even conscious. Gbogbo wa mejeji okay lo wa. You know why? E mo tuma. E from this what, what God made me to understand. Lati nu bi o to Olorun ja ko ye mi. Is only those that are even relevant. Iyeju awon ti won wo orun nikan that are relevant in heaven. They are the only one that can make a positive, relevant on heart. Dangote is relevant in Nigeria. Dangote, I'm on your delay in Nigeria. Yes or yes? Benny, no. It's relevant. Oh, 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 in Exodus chapter 5 verse 15 and 16. Ni oni wa sun ori ikanu ese ike ndogun ati ike nidilogun. He said naked have we come. Oni pe iwo la wa and naked we will return. Iwo na la pada. Now if he come naked and return naked. To ba wa ni o to tu pada ni o. What is the benefit of that? E gbo kini ere yen na. But if God I've been making use of this your gift through the Lord Jesus Christ. Amati Olorun ba tin ri iwulu awon ebun eyi latari Jesus Christ. That you are already storing treasures in the heaven bam. Ti a tin fi pamọ si ile iso orun awon awon alumani. You will not go back empty. Ah ni pada sodo re lowo ofo. Get get this understanding of this emptiness I'm talking about. E je ki oye ofo ti mo soro re yi ko ye wa. When Jesus said I've gone to heaven to go and prepare a place. Ni gba ti Jesus so pe mo ti lo soro lati pe se bi kan si le fun. Please anybody that get to heaven and have a mansion does it go there empty? E gbo eni to lo run to wa ba ile jeran jeran be e gbo so lo lowo ofo ni. But if you have lived all your life and you are hardly relevant like big gate and dropping million million to wipe away malaria from African country. To all these gifts has not come through the Lord Jesus Christ. It's a total waste. Total waste. Oh, phony. So I want you to come to a level of understanding. You know, I have trouble with the title of this message. So I put it to you. And I say, okay, when are you going to put an end to this your act of wickedness? All this your act and attitude of wickedness. You know that same story is in Matthew 21. Matthew 21. I will pick verse 41. Mark I say, Kel can lend you Now I pick verse 41. Now, after the, the, the Jesus that was sharing the parable, now ask those people. In verse 41, they said unto him, He will miserably destroy those wicked men. And will, and will let out his vineyard unto other husbandmen, which shall render him the fruit in their season. Yosef, your bajara de she agba todu fu a wolu shoba mina. I want ti o ma fi so de fun la koko. When will you stop this act of your wickedness? When will you submit all your gift and talent to the Lord Jesus? Until you submit your gift and talents unto Jesus. And through Jesus, you are making use of this gift and talent. That is then that God begin to eat the juice of your life. This great fruit juice that God expects to be coming out of your life. What is the problem of these people? In that Mark 12 verse 7. They said, let us kill him. And the inheritance shall be ours. That is our trouble. 
What is not our home? We want to claim ownership of it. One of the greatest lies that the devil and the world have been telling people is that I am the owner of my life and I can do it the way I like. I put it to you today. You are not the owner and you cannot use it anyhow you like. The moment there is responsibility, accountability is sure. So there is a responsibility over your life with all the gift, all the structure, all the shape that God has given to you that you have never done anything to attain. I don't know whether we have somebody, a brother or sister here, that you think your, your, your being intelligent is as a result of your diligence in reading. I have a friend in my secondary school days. This guy can play anything. He will play, 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 play. He, will, he can play for Nigeria. Nigeria. But come to examination. He's, you can contend with him. He's He's one that will come first. There is nothing. You know until we discover is the grace of God over his life, the gift. For today, his own is not to miss class. There is a camera eyes. So he just and he record as lecturer is talking. As they, they are writing on the board, or he's writing notes, his camera, you know, he'll just be storing it. You know, but in course, so he doesn't need to go and sit down and be reading. I don't know whether you have had testimonies of uh, people who are doing well in their studies, they 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 his own gift that God gave him. He said the whole Bible he can turn into songs. There is no any cause, it will be a song. He said there was a time they call him during the break. That's during break that come, you have to come and rewrite this course again. And the HOD was in his office with his lecturer in charge of that course in the HOD office, right? HOD, ati gbogbo awon lecturer to ku gbogbo na wa ni be pe oju wa lo ti se and he started o ba bere when he submitted the manuscript nigba to fi tun won the HOD call him on ba pe tell me so fun wa what are you using ki lo nlo just you know just tell me kan so fun wa you know people there are no many aims it's just for you to know the first answer. In fact, some people, if they, they are, the, the, the level of their understanding of him, they can say, okay, in this him, it's just stands uh, for I want to sing. They know it to that extent. So that is the kind of gift he will convert everything to him. So when he gets examination, he's just to be singing. Now, what has he done? What method of learning? Who, who, who is that lecturer that has taught him that? So all those gifts. All those talents, all those strategy that you think, uh, you know, there are some strategy that God will give you and you monopolize it that it is, I'm the owner. <laughs> That's one of the greatest wickedness of the Yoruba fathers. <laughs> they will know just two halves that solve mm, a problem, mm, whether it's cough, mm. whether it's stomach pain. They will not even show to their children. Lara, I want to beat you. I want Baba to let you. But she want to open one little cut at the symbol. Open up one bun. To your cook ball or corolla. On the belo. They will, and you know, <laughs> and you know, <laughs> and they lack. They don't have that grace of documenting. Once he load your fiat, he call it. Even if those of them that know how to write, they say if I write it, somebody will get it. A friend of mine worked with one veterinary doctor in Ibadan here. He has a lot of write up um, herbs to treat dogs' diseases. This is my friend that worked with him. 
This man will come early in the morning by 6.30. He will come to the office. Mm. He will prepare all those things. Mm. He will keep it. So mm. you miss it. He doesn't want them to know the rudiment, how they look. In this present, in, in this brother here. Ore mi ton ba sise to ba oni pe oyo ti ma jide lata go mefa yo ti pe lo gbogbo nkan to fe lo yen sile koni je keni kan kan ri so the rest you just mix it up it will become soap if it is for bathing if this one is for feeding they are just working and they are selling even though they are graduate they can't get that thing o tan kan se ni pe tan ba ti de nti won won kan won kan won kan lo po ni won ko de man mata when he die what will happen e gbo to ba ku kilo ma sele Everything that you have, go bon and all that you are, that there are no one has ever benefited from. Has become a cost to you. Is as you dish out. That is how God releases. Some lecturer did us even in these nations. We have paid tuition fee to be to receive knowledge. At his son, we lay we lati lati gbeko. He said, "I got teach us this thing." I got a kwa. You know, he said, "In terms of being genuine." Hey, my son. Then why did our own parents send us to school? I got kilo de tango biwa fwa na wa losi lewe. She be kwa kwa ni. So he will teach us the one that is not practicable in the field. I wa kwa long ta le she ni ta. And then they give us certificates. I wa fwa ni weary. So when are you going to put an end to this wickedness in your own life? Misusing and frustrating the mercy of God in your life. This mercy is so heavy upon your life. You do nothing to obtain it. Oh, she Let's be on our feet. In 1 Corinthians 4 7. This devotional challenge has come to challenge our heart. To see that as God is coming in this meeting, I will not leave this place with this act of wickedness. I will become a change man. I will no longer lay hold of everything that God has given to me. I will allow God to enjoy the fruit, the wine of my life. Can you go ahead and beg God for your life? Oh God, have mercy on me for this wickedness that I've been practicing all this while. For ordering all these things. Things that you have invested in my life. Oh, beg God for mercy. The way you have used those gifts wickedly. Instead of you to use it to bless people's lives and draw people to the Lord, you have been using it to scatter the body of Christ. You have been using it to cause more havoc in the world. God send you to this world to be a solution, not to be a trouble. Beg God, oh Lord, from Every act of wickedness against you. Let it not go away. She at your kabuburu against you. See ya. Lord, have mercy. Oh Lord, we shall not fall. Today I repent. Lord, ni mo lo no pi wada. John said in Matthew three eight. Do I know so? Ni no we match or the test. Only he said bring forth the fruit worthy of repentance. Oh ni mo e so chio ya fui ro no pi wada wa. I want you to cry for mercy. Just cry for mercy. 